talk a little bit about Air Design's trip to the KOH, Hammertown, King of the Hammers in Johnson Valley, California. You know, I've never been to the King of the Hammer, so we decided to, uh, let's take the Air Designs Jeep out there and let's try it. And as we were driving that Jeep all around the uh, King of the Hammers, driving this urban collar around with the big tires and the smoked out windows and air condition, everybody else is you know, getting all coughed out with all the smoke and the dust every place. There was probably like, they say, like 45,000 people there. I've never seen that many trailers and RVs in one section, it was just, it was just a made-up city. I mean, there's nothing there. They come in for that whole week. It's just uh, unbelievable to see all those people come out for the motorsports out there. So we went to the King of the Hammers for this tour event for SEMA. And what made it really nice there is they had the big screen TV set. The main event is the trophy trucks. I've seen a lot of those on TV, so as I was watching on TV, they were doing like about a three or 400 mile qualifying. They were finishing right in front of our tent. It was pretty wild because they come flying in and dirt would go every place. Then I saw B.J. Baldwin come in. They, they call him the big crowd pleaser. And I only know him because I've seen him at SEMA a couple times and I've watched some of his videos on the big screens. It was kind of cool sitting there watching these guys come in right in front of you. So we had a good time. As we were sitting there talking, the two founders of uh, King and Hammers came in and they gave a little speech at the corporate tent. And next thing I know, the VP of Global Motorsports for Ford came in. He got in front and gave a little speech telling them that Ford is committed to bring the brand new 2021 Bronco back next year. We knew we were in the right area, our right tent, because Nobody else had heard this thing. We're the first people to hear this news. As we decided uh, next day what we're going to do, we decided we're going to go up to Big Bear. And that was kind of cool because in this part of California, you can go from the high desert to the snow in less than 50 miles. So we cruised around. We were trying to find some snow to drive in to see how the Jeep would handle in the snow. But there wasn't much. We spent some time at the ski resorts and uh, we had a good time driving around doing some lifestyle shots. So the next day we decided to drive what we call the big finger or take it to the finger. As on the way up there we were driving all these dirt roads. It was probably, probably like a 20 mile drive from where we were spending the night. We spent most of the day just kind of uh, trying to find some good little roads and do some testing with the Jeep. And you can see uh, some of the shots with the suspension and everything. No problem driving the Jeep, you know. I'm just an amateur driver, so you look good out there and if you got the right equipment. That was a great trip. We had a good time. We'll be back to do uh, next year's adventure too. There's a lot of products on the Jeep. We'd like to thank some of the sponsors on it. You got the Nitto tires, RVP rims, you got the Borla exhaust, airs, running boards, air designs, fender flares, worn winch. We got the road wire interior. It looks good with the air designs floor mat. So if you want to know anything more about air design, go to our website, airdesignusa.com.